Today, we're learning the song, The Drunken Sailor. Welcome to Ukulele Rocks, I'm Mr C and today we're going to be learning the song The Drunken Sailor. Now The Drunken Sailor has only got two chords in it but they're not the most straightforward of chords. We have a D minor and a chord of C. So let's get straight down to it. Grab your ukuleles, check they're in tune Let's go through these chords straight away. Now the chord of D minor, we're going to do something a little bit different with it. We're going to use some different fingers. So this is what I'd like you to do. Put your first finger on the second string, or the E string, in the first fret. Put your second finger on the third string, or the C string, in the second fret. Pull it back a little bit in the fret to allow your third finger to go onto the fourth string, the G, in the second fret. There's mine. How's yours? Here's mine. Now, I said we were going to do something a little bit different. That's because normally, with a chord of D minor, you might use the F chord first and drop your third finger in onto the C string, onto the third string to make that chord a D minor. But we're just going to swap those fingers around because the next chord we need, like we said, was a chord of C. What well, we all know are one, two, three makes a chord of C. Here's mine. How's yours? Good. But the reason we're changing our D minor fingering is because of this first finger here. I think it's easier to fall onto the second string and then bring the other fingers down one, two, three kind of fashion. If you can put all three fingers down at the same time, brilliant. But if you can't, you might find it's much easier to do this alternate fingering. Try it. Just for a moment, without playing, find your D minor chord with that one, two, three fingering, and just keep swapping it to the C chord. D minor, C. D minor, C. Now the strumming for this is quite an easy, uh, quite an easy strum until the last line of each chorus and each verse. So we're going to start doing it very simply and we're just going to simply use our thumb for our down strokes to go a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, change. One, two, three, four, finish on D minor. Why don't you play along with me? Let's see if we can join you with that. D minor, please. Good stuff. Here we go. One, two, off we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, change to C. One, two, three, four, five, six, back to D minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, change to C. One, two, three, four, finish. Got the idea of that? Let's try it one more time. Find that chord of D minor with that strange one, two, three fingering. It'll work, I promise. All right, let's try it again. Just that nice, easy strumming pattern. One, two, three, a strum. One, two, three, four, five, six, change to C. One, two, three, four, back to do D minor. One, two, three, four, five, six, change to C. One, two, three, four, finish. There we go. 
Now, if you look in the description below, you'll find a link to the Ukulele Rocks website where you'll find a copy of the words and also a downloadable sheet that you could use if you wanted to for today. We're going to use three verses to sing along to this uh, and the words will be appearing on the screen at the bottom. So let's try it. Let's try verse one. Again, nice and steady, nice and simple, first of all. D minor chord. And before we start our singing, let's give ourselves a little bit of an introduction. We'll give ourselves eight strums, eight beats maybe, of introduction to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What should we do? Got the idea? Good. All right, D minor chord in place. Here we go then. Sing in the first verse, simple strumming. One, two, three, and intro. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? How's that? Okay with that? All right, well I think now is the time to put it together. And then after we've put it together simply, we'll talk about some ways that perhaps you can make it a little bit more um, challenging. <laughs> okay, so let's try the verse. We're going to do that. What should we do with a drunken sailor? Then the chorus of hooray and up she rises. Then we're going to put him in a long boat till he's sober. Doesn't sound too bad. And then finally, after another chorus, we're going to put him in the scuppers with a hose pipe on him. Yeah, don't fancy that, don't fancy that. And finish with our chorus, okay? And again, we're gonna go nice and steady with it. D minor chord, introduction. And we'll have that eight beat introduction in between the choruses and the second verse and the chorus and the third verse. Okay, here we go, ready? One, two, three, a strummer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? What should we do with the drunken sailor? So we did say we were going to discuss a little bit more challenging aspects to it. Let's have a look at the strumming pattern very quickly. At the moment we're doing it nice and simply, down, 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 down. But you could do our good old standard down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down to go down, down, up. So that's 
one option to make it a little bit more challenging. Also, it does feel a little bit steady in the tempo, in the speed. So perhaps you could speed it up a little bit. If you could put the strumming pattern and speed in the tempo up, phew, that would be okay. Let's try it. Well, let's take it a little bit faster now. Let's just do one verse. Ready? One, two, a one, two, three, four, down, down, up. Sounds pretty good. It could even go faster than that if you wanted it to. And finally, if, like me, you can hear just at the end of the choruses, the end of the verses, it is getting a little bit high-pitched for me in my voice. Well, the secret to Drunken Sailor is choose a minor chord and then pick the major chord that comes right underneath that. For instance, we have a D. Well, in the alphabet, below D comes C. So we have a D minor and a C major chord. But if that's a little bit too high, perhaps you could move it down. You could have an A minor chord. What should we do with the drunken sailor? What? And then the G, A going back. Or perhaps you need to go the other way. Perhaps you can manage it a little bit higher. So you can, instead of having D minor and C, you could have E minor. What should we do with the drunken sailor? And D. What should we do with the drunken sailor? Remember, you've got that E back one step to D. And you could transpose it for yourself. And you could do it in whatever key you wanted to do there. If you really want a challenge, try it in F minor. Yes. So, yeah, that's a. What should we do with the drunken sailor? To E flat. We do with the drunken sailor. Does sound nice there though. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning that new song today. Thanks for watching. Ta ra!